Hi guys, happy Wednesday. This week we just wanted to take some time to talk about Plastic Free July by the Plastic Free Coalition. Uh, maybe this month takes some time to think about ways that you can eliminate single-use plastic from your life. Uh, some things that I've done this month is substitute my roll of paper towels that usually comes in plastic with a set of reusable bamboo paper towels and also switch to toothpaste that comes in glass reusable jars. Try not to get too overwhelmed with getting rid of these things in your life. Just pick a couple of things a month. Plastic Free July would be a really good time to start. Uh, maybe start with re taking reusable bags to the store and getting your own water bottle and not buying plastic water bottles anymore and just take on one little task at a time and don't let yourself get too overwhelmed. Another really great thing you can do is to get your own set of bamboo utensils uh, to take to restaurants with you or if you're ordering takeout stuff like that to take to the beach it's perfect for and this set there's a fork spoon knife chopsticks anything that you might need and uh, obviously adding a reusable stainless steel or bamboo straw in there is a really helpful thing to do too you can go to plasticfreecoalition.org for more tips and ideas on ways to get single-use plastic out of your life. And you can uh, sign up and take their pledge to try and eliminate single-use plastic in your home. And on July 29th, they are also hosting a seminar that you can sign up for, or a webinar, sorry, um, about plastic in your home and how it might be affecting your health and your family. Uh, when it comes to plastic decomposing in landfills, the average plastic takes about 1,000 years to decompose. Now, when you go to grocery stores and you're buying those groceries and they give you those little plastic bags, those are going to take about 10 to 20 years to decompose. And anytime you're going to a gas station or a grocery store and you're buying a plastic bottle, for your sodas or water, that's going to take approximately 450 years for that bottle to break down. So when it comes to plastics in our ocean, guys, it's very important that we limit that use because those plastics, they can break down over time, causing microplastics, whether they're chipped off of other pieces or just when they are starting to break down they can be either be microscopic or they can be like the size of our nail, different things, and it can cause the larger organisms to eat them, uh, even seabirds. And then with those larger plastics, some of our larger fish, mammals, they're gonna be eating that as well, mistaking it as food or it's just mixed up amongst their food. There's been times where I've seen plastics wrapped around the reefs, uh, whether it be trash bags or I've even seen bottles down there. They fill it up with water and they sunk down. So we just want to limit that. And the other thing is anytime we're out on our boats, guys, we pick up trash. We see debris floating around. It could be trash bags. It could be grocery bags. It could even be to-go bags from restaurants. Um, one, we don't want that mistaken for the fish or birds to eat it, but also it can cause boats to get entangled in it with their props too. Um, so we want to make sure that that's being left out of the ocean. And because as you see behind me, the ocean, it is a very, very important ecosystem and we want to make sure that we as humans are helping protect it. We're always talking about beach cleanups and this week April and I uh, went and participated with the sustainable coastlines of Hawaii and did an island wide cleanup at several different locations. So as usual, this is another really great way to get debris and plastic out of the environment. You can look for local cleanups in your community or you can plan your own. Hi there, Wildside family. I am out here with Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii today doing one of their beach cleanups and we're out here around Ala Moana Magic Island today. Just wanted to take a break, share that with you. I hope you all are having a great day and 
Thanks again for joining us for another very special Wild Side Wednesday. And don't forget, if you want to uh, make the commitment to get rid of single-use plastic in your life, you can go to plasticfreecoalition.org and make the pact on their website. And you can also sign up for that really awesome webinar that's going to be happening on July 29th. And thanks again, and we'll see you next week.